Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin here from Kev Concepts, and I got another tutorial for you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for today's logo, um, it's a logo tutorial. It's not like a avatar or a regular tutorial um, for like um, something like my logo. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to make like a text logo for like this because um, if you guys want to make like a regular logo like mine, um, it just takes like sort of a lot of thinking and like a um like a lot of creativity so you just gotta just think about like what you guys want to put in the logo and just make it happen really so i'm just going to show you guys how to um make a, a text logo like this so it, it's pretty nice it has sort of like a cartoony look to it not really but in like sort of a futuristic look so i'm going to be showing you guys on how to make that today um Basically, first you want to open up Photoshop and just open a new canvas, um, set it to pixels as the size, and just make it 12, 1280 by 720 pixels. And you have a new canvas that looks like this. Um, you can make the canvas size anything, really, but I just did a 1270. So, yeah. Um, so, basically, first you, I just usually start with... Um, a black background to make these and um, yeah so just put a black background and a white text now for the this for the logo for that logo uh, I used a text called um, a lot of people know what this text is Batman forever um, so just you guys can look that up on the font or Google and it's probably there so basically uh, I'm just going to do Kevin for this one um, have concepts too long, so yeah. Um, I got Batman Forever. You can use with um any logo really. It's a really good idea to use um sort of a text that's um has sharp edges, not like rounded text because uh, it looks better as well. Or you can just um if you want a rounded text, you can just use um stroke in the in the text options and stuff. So yeah. So I have this one text. Don't type out the whole letter, um, whole word, because you're going to have to edit and stuff and cut it out, cut some stuff out. So all I do is just copy each letter out. So I'm just going to do that. Just copy each letter out. Let's do Kev for this um, tutorial, actually. So yeah, so you have all the three layers for the text, and... Um, you can start off by just trying to figure out how you want it sort of to look like. So just by putting the text together like this. I'm just going to put it like this probably. I think I think this looks fine. So as you can see, um, it's got, uh, it has overlays and stuff. So basically you just want to get the E text right here and... Um, on the side tool, the third tool, it's called a uh, polygon lasso. If you have it uh, set on a circle lasso thing, just hold it down and do polygon lasso. So if you want to um, zoom in a little, you can. And from here, we're just basically going to um, cut out some parts here. So then the E, you have to have this layer selected or else it's not going to work. So, oops. So, okay, so... Oh crap. Okay. Um just going to cut this area out. And you just basically make the shape and it makes a, a selected area and just press delete. I forgot to rasterize these because you can't edit text. So you just gotta rasterize it by right clicking and uh, rasterizing type. So there we go, we deleted that part and um after, I mean, it's going to take longer because I had a longer word, but it's just Kev, so I don't have a lot of stuff to edit. So, yeah, um, it's going to, hold on, it's going to make it like that. So you can have it overlaid like this a little, and if it's a little, like, cut is right showing, it's fine because we're going to do something that's going to make it okay. Um... So basically, right after this step, um, you want to merge down. So you merge the three layers and then 
make a new layer on top, and then, uh, oh wait, actually undo that really quickly. So just basically, um, make a white background really quickly. And then select the text and add a stroke. Uh, make the stroke around two for each um, for each text. Two and then OK. Um, so you're starting to see um, how the text looks. It looks pretty good right now. Um, just going to make this, and you're just going to have to like move it around and stuff, see how I um, put the bottom layer there. It looks much better like that. There we go. Um, so it looks like this right now. And um, basically what I did with this one is I did a black background, and I got the polygon lasso tool and cut it all out. So it's going to take me a long time to cut it out because... Um, it has to be perfect and stuff, so basically, um, this is how you guys do it, you just make it like that, and it's already starting to look like, um, what the text is, and after this, you can just merge the layers, and then you can just go in here and, um, edit the settings and stuff, so if you guys want to, uh, look at my settings for a really good, like, metallic sort of, um, futuristic look, you can, um, just pause the video here and check it out, oh, and before I do this, uh, hold on one sec. Just going to have to um, select all these layers and just sort of smooth out the top so it's all even. Um, let's go select these individually and there, so it's smooth. Um, so yeah, um, all you need to do is just merge down now. Merge down, and you have the this text. And now, what you want to do is pause the video after I make these adjustments. So yeah, um, I spent much more time on the the other logo, the other text logo, so it looks much better than this. This is just a tutorial, so yeah. Alright, so this is just basically um, what it is. You can just mess around with it and stuff in it. Uh, it'll look good. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. And I really appreciate a lot of you guys messaging me about tutorials and how to do this. Because um, I really enjoy helping you guys and um, like help growing the community for art and stuff. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And please like and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.